think that I was a, a leader in different capacities at different points in my life in different ways. I, I you know, I, I went to I went to college. I got my bachelor, master, and PhD in engineering, and I hired into the company that I worked for as a subject matter expert in a very specific, uh, you know, technical topic. So I was very much a technical leader, I would say, for for many, many years. But me becoming a, a people leader, uh, kind of an agent of change, uh, kind of a voice for the LGBT community where I live, that that started about 2015. Uh, it was at that point when it, w it was gradual, but it was at that point that I had made the decision to come out at work. And wow. uh, yeah, so this, this is something that I think a lot of LGBT people experience, but there reaches a point where the, the burden of, of being in the closet becomes more difficult than the fear of the unknown of what's going to happen once you do come out. That's right. So there's that inflection point of, I don't know what's out there, but I can't stay in here anymore. <laughs> and I think a lot of LGBT people experience that. So I, I was at a point where like I either stay with Eastman and I come out or I'm going to just move back to LA or New York or something. And so I decided to come out. I joined the employee resource group, which was just starting. Uh, do you know what an employee resource group is? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, an em employee resource group, an ERG. Um, and some ERG. companies call them BRGs, business resource groups. And yeah, so, so it was fresh exactly. and sort of new at Eastman. And, and you it, was, it was just starting. Yep. And I, I knew the I knew the person that was starting it. They were. They had a kickoff meeting planned, and they asked me if, if they would mind if they could use my picture for this gigantic banner to, for the event. And I was like, okay, I guess this this will be one way to come out. <laughs> so we had this kickoff event, and you know, hundreds of people were coming in, and I showed up, and here was my face printed on this gigantic banner, and I was like, well, this is terrifying. <laughs> so this is how people start to connect the dots. I really decided that I was going to come out with with a with a bang and really be bold about it. That was a bang. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so at that point moving forward, I, uh, I I just decided that I was going to just be very honest up front, you know, re you know regardless of what the consequences were going to be. And I started to, we, we can unpack that more, but I started to take on more initiatives and leadership initiatives. But I, that was the point where I, I started to realize that I was uh, a leader or I had the potential to be because of the way that people were responding to me. Uh, people were... I would just share my story. I would try to connect the dots for people that were not LGBT to help them explain this is what being a closeted at work um, feels like. And, and being able to relay that story to people, people start to see me differently. And I was like, okay, I can actually use my, my voice for a power of, uh, for, as a force of good here. And that was really the catalyst for me.